Hello and welcome to your Merseyside. Here's what's coming up. Since 1975, Kind have been making a difference in the lives of thousands of disadvantaged children and families from across Liverpool and Merseyside. Now they're planning a move that aims to transform more lives. As I say, it's a lot of money to raise, but we're very, very keen that we want to give this back as a legacy project to the city. Almost one in four adults have now had their first dose of the vaccine. We'll be getting your thoughts on if the end is in sight. People are getting bored. Um, it's taking a big toll on people's mental health. But I know if people stick to it, um, we'll be able to see our loved ones again. Now, plans to transform a derelict church in South Liverpool into a community hub have been submitted to Liverpool Council. Proposals from charity Kind, which supports disadvantaged children and families in the city, could see the Welsh Presbyterian Church on Princess Avenue in L8 restored to house a new community hub. I'm Emily Bonner, time now for your latest news update. Police are urging residents to continue to stick to the rules after a large number of fines issued. Since lockdown began on January 4th, a total of 685 fixed penalty notices have been issued by Cheshire Constabulary. Officers have dealt with a range of breaches from gatherings, businesses remaining open and people being out without reasonable excuse. The Walker Art Gallery has announced the five people shortlisted for the John Moore's Painting Prize. Paintings by Robbie Bush, Michelle Fletcher, Steph Goodger, Stephen Lee and Catherine Maple are shortlisted from almost 3,000 entries. They're in with a chance of winning the coveted £25,000 first prize. Over 20,000 children across Liverpool will continue to receive support next week as Liverpool City Council extends its meal voucher scheme during half term. Families will receive £15 of vouchers for the week for each child, which can be used in Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's and Morrison's. As the number of people receiving the vaccine dose reaches over 12 million, does this mean we are almost out the other side? I'll be hearing your thoughts on who is the first person you want to see once restriction ease, as research suggests the pandemic has brought people closer to their family and friends. Coming up after the break on your Merseyside. The Rawsome teachers who are bringing some prehistoric magic to doorsteps across the region as they've been busy this lockdown delivering food parcels to school children. We'll be getting your thoughts on whether you still fancy that holiday abroad or whether you would in fact enjoy a staycation here in your local area. I don't, I'm afraid, no. In light of the Covid situation, I'm not sure it's wise to travel at this particular stage. So I'm looking potentially, if I'm going on holiday, to holiday in this country. Welcome back to your Merseyside. Thanks for joining us. Many businesses have had to adapt the way they work through the pandemic and teach recs are no different. The two teachers from Wirral run an educational company visiting schools around the country with their dinosaur puppet holding workshops. They're now delivering food parcels to school children across the region. I'm Emily Bonner, time now for your latest news update. Growing numbers of people in our region have now had their first shot of the coronavirus vaccine, raising hopes infection levels will come down further. More than 20% of the British population have now had their first injection, and people over the age of 65 are now set to start receiving calls to come to an appointment for a jab. Game of Thrones may have coined the phrase winter is coming, but winter is staying in the northwest as railway workers battle to keep passengers and freight moving in the freezing weather. Several days of sub-zero temperatures have caused icicles up to one and a half metres long to form in tunnels. 
Wirral's Youth Zone The Hive are providing young people with activities to keep them busy and having fun. Families can sign up for an activity pack to be delivered, along with a timetable of online content, which includes fitness challenge videos, cooking sessions and art workshops. For those who like to travel in the summer, a holiday abroad may not be on the cards, with some countries maintaining travel restrictions and with the prospect of British residents having to quarantine in hotels on their return, is it time to embrace the year of the staycation and enjoy what our local areas have to offer? And look at your latest national headlines now. First, and Wales has become the first part of the UK to reach its February vaccination target. The Welsh Government's aim was in line with England's and was to vaccinate the top four priority groups by mid-Feb. First Minister Mark Drakeford thanked everyone who'd been working around the clock to reach this point. Next, and social distancing restrictions plus mask wearing could remain in place until at least the autumn, that's according to plans being considered by ministers. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is to set out a roadmap out of lockdown on the 22nd of February. And finally, one of Britain's oldest stone circles has been found in Wales and could be the original building blocks of Stonehenge. Archaeologists uncover the remains in Pembrokeshire and believe the stones could have been dismantled and rebuilt 150 miles away on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. Thanks for watching. We'll be back later. Bye for now. Welcome along to another Met Office 10 day trend with an awful lot going on. You've probably noticed it's a little cold outside and that cold weather will continue for the next couple of days. There are still Met Office warnings in place for snow and ice. I'm not going to go through the details here. They're available on the Met Office app and on the website. The big question, when will it turn milder? Well, now there is quite a strong signal that it will turn milder next week. Milder, but also quite a bit wetter and there are still some big complications about how we get there. The transition is going to take place through this weekend.